Hey everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins. On this video, we're going to be doing the side quest, The Healer. So if we check our map, it is to the southeast. Right here. It's level 3. Alright, so let's summon up the mount. And then we'll let the game take me there. So follow the road. And then go to custom marker. Oh, poor guy. That's all right, he got back up. He's cool. I didn't do it, it was the game. Hello, Toma. Look who's returned to the Wahat. Great God, Amun. It is our own Bayek. Everybody loves me. getting late or is it getting early oh I think it's dawn actually yes we're brightening up Sorry. All right. Rabia. Bayek. It does my heart good to have you again in Siwa. You now send her back to hell. I never expected to see her again. She is a tough old bird. Like you, eh? <laughs> Bayek. Epsifa tells me you are healing the villagers as best you can. It would give me much pleasure to help you. That is kind of you. May your car be blessed. I can always use help. The soldiers are brutes. Almost every villager has cuts, bruises, broken bones. To help them, I put together a makeshift perang in the old ruined temple. Friends bring me medicine from Yamu. But now the soldiers stop everyone entering the village and steal their goods. So, we try to bring medicine on a boat instead. And the soldiers stopped that also. They sank the last shipment. The medicine jars are scattered across the bottom of the lake. I will get them for you. Thank you, Bayek. Bring it to the old temple. I must go there now. Medicine could be anywhere in this lake. Senu can help me. Okay, we got the quest. The healer. Bayek's dear friend, Rabia, needs help retrieving medicine for her makeshift hos hospital. Rabia works as a healer to the villagers, treating them for the abuses suffered by Ptolemy's oppressive agents. Some of her medicines have been prevented from entering Siwa. Bayek must help recover them. And the reward is 600 experience and a legendary trinket. Find and get the jars from the sunken ship. One of them's right there. There's another. And the third. Oh, wait. I marked all three. Alright. <laughs> Circle to die. Underwater navigation, hold X to swim up, hold circle to swim down, press square to lunge. And he can hold his breath for a ridiculous amount of time. So you shouldn't have to worry too much about that. And this location has three treasures we need to find, which we're going to do. But first, we're going to get all this stuff and the medicine jars we need. And I should have enough breath to just grab it all. Wish I could hold my breath for that long. That's super impressive. Alright, well, I guess we may as well get these, too. Well, we'll get those later, because all three of the treasures are in that sunken temple. 
Ravia is waiting for these jazz. All right, so into that sunken temple, we're going to get all the goodies. Finish the area and get whatever bonus experience that gets us. All right, so the first treasure is over here. Dual swords, nice. That's something new. All right. Here's another treasure. Ooh, a purple bow. I like that. I guess we'll go this way. And there's the third treasure. That's a blue bow. Most likely getting broken down. And 150 experience for completing this location. And what is that, a quill? Got something I haven't seen before. That is an unfinished sword. It's best when people finish what they start. And a stone pitcher. When empty, fill it. When full, empty it. I love the descriptions of this stuff. My air was low, but not really. Right, any other treasures popping up? Yeah, we got something over there. We'll dive under this boat. Okay, and I believe that's everything down here. Actually, there's something over there. Some interesting music. Huh. Oh. Uh, I guess a gazelle drowned. Okay. Alright, so now we need to go to the House of Life. That's where Rabia went. I need to get back to the road. That's close enough. Mount, get over here. Ah, uh, who's after me now? Uh, I think there's more like bandits or whatever fighting guards. We will not get involved. Still working on that statue. guys doing? Leave me alone. Got no beef with you. I uh, don't think they're gonna give up the chase. Oh fine, I'll kill you then. If you wanna die so badly, I'll kill you. Those other guys coming? Well, they seem to be busy with each other. Alright, well, hopefully they leave me alone. It's alright, Rabia. Oh, I need to be anonymous. Okay. I was trying to be. Ugh. Alright, maybe if I... Maybe if I go over here. I don't want to be involved. Just going about my life. I think that guy's after me. Oh, screw it. We're going to kill him. Hey, he's not doing a takedown. All right, screw it. I was going to just take him down, but instead he dies.
And a shield. All oh, right. I forgot to check out the new stuff. Uh, so we got the medicine jars, a sealed earthen jar containing cedar oil for the treatment of wounds. And then we got some new gear. Uh, oh, motivational duet. It's got one adrenaline regeneration, 13 quality. Uh, very fast, short reach. These blades work relentlessly, so you don't have to. Somehow I don't think it works that way. Then we got this wooden shield. Padded with two layers of coarse fabric, this shield can soften, soften blows without breaking into splinters. Well, we're going to break it into splinters right now. All right, can I do this quest yet? Ah, Bayek. Hamun be praised. What has happened? Why aren't the patients in the temple ruins? The soldiers threw us out. Even though I paid the nomarch to allow me to use the temple, every few weeks soldiers come to take our medicine and food stocks. Always the same soldiers. They call it a tribute. A tax for the pharaoh's royal army. We barely have what's needed to take care of the poor souls that need our help. Vultures. Don't worry, Rabia. I will make certain they don't bother you anymore. Be careful, Bayek. Kill the soldiers pillaging the House of Life. Alrighty. This we can do. New location discovered. Best not to draw attention here. Those guys, oh, I was gonna say, they don't even care, but they do care. But then they're like, oh, man, that guy was a jerk anyway. Screw him. Hey. Our location objective is to find Papyrus Puzzle. Come closer. Little bit closer. Gotcha. Uh. Hey. Oh, that guy's gonna see me. Well, he's gonna see that guy on the ground, and I'm gonna come to the side and get him. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, he must have turned. Oh, he's right there. Oh, there's one there, too. Let's get this guy. Oops. Gotcha. No, he saw me. I'm faster than you. Oh, God. Oh, I thought he died. Screwed that up, didn't I? All right, we got two guys over there. All right, well, he should walk right by me. Sickle sword. There's another dude. That's some loot. I right, know that was Carrie. All right, well, this guy's got his back to me, so we should be able to just walk right up. Yeah, not much here this time. Hi. Oh, got you while you're taking a piss. Did I just punch him in the dick? Or was that the stomach? I couldn't tell. Wow. Either way, that was rough. Oh, and apparently that's all of them. Return to Rabia, but we're not ready yet. We've got some goodies to pick up. Actually, we might not. Not seeing anything. 
Oh, here's something. Uh, but that's just arrows. I don't think I need any arrows. Yep, yeah, ammo full. So we're good there. I believe that's arrows as well. Yep. Wish it would show up as a different symbol. That would be quite helpful. Alright, but up here we got some stuff. A long drink. In Siwa, come find me at the bottom of the only bowl big enough for a god. Okay, so these are uh, puzzles of some sort. Now, whether you have to collect them all and then solve some puzzle, or if that was my entire clue, I'm not sure. Um, but anyways, here it is under papyri, if I'm saying that correctly. Uh, and it's just the same thing it said there, so... Um, if we can find the bowl big enough for a god, whatever that's trying to tell us about... Um, perhaps we can solve this, or perhaps we need more clues. I don't know yet, but we will figure it out. I think that's about it. Get some more arrows there. But yeah, not really any treasure in here. So, back to Rabia. So there's something over there. It's probably arrows, but let me just go check. Yep, just arrows. Fire. Oh, really? What is up with these guys? I'm way over here. Maybe I can talk to her. Haha! <laughs> the temple is yours now. Those soldiers won't bother you again. All my patience, thank you. Ah! I almost forgot to give you your medicines from the sunken boat. <laughs> you know the excitement, I forgot about them myself. The oasis of Siwa is lucky to have you, Rabia. <laughs> Promise me you will not become consumed with your vengeance, Bayak. I think of nothing else. By the grace of Amun, one day I will be free of it. Quest completed. 600 experience and level 5 and I got some legendary trinkets. Oh, actually I'm not level 5. I've got like just a tiny little sliver left. Alright, so what are these trinkets? We got a necklace. The quintet... Eh, qu I don't even know what I was trying to say. The quint... Quintessential, there we go, the quintessential fashion statement dating from time immemorial. Forgot how to pronounce that word. Or talk, for that matter. And we also got a cat amulet. 22 centuries ago, cats were the bee's knees. They still are. That's what the internet's for, right? Okay, oh, and apparently I got some new gear that I forgot about. Right, I got that new sickle sword. Iron Shoto. Uh, this wickedly curved blade is used to hook shields and rip away enemy defenses. It's gonna be dismantled. And something else? Oh, ranged, apparently. Alright, I got that new bow. The obsidian bow, a rare hunter bow. Charging speed is 2, critical hit damage is 2, quality is 16, it's got 85 damage a second. Uh, power charge. Every twang of this bow's string makes a union of Stygian glass and crimson blood. Or marks a union. Sounds good. And we'll dismantle this hunting bow. I'll keep this quick bow, just in case I want to do rapid fire ranged. Um, but so far I'm not really impressed with it, but it's good to have options. Uh, it's got a rate of fire of 2, quality is 12, 98 damage a second. Uh, fires faster than you can say hippopotamus. Alright, well, whatever was going on out here looks like it's over. I think there's a dude lying dead in the street. It's been resolved. 
And my horse is stuck, I guess. Could take this horse. But then they might get pissed off because I stole. So let me just keep my horse. And he found his way out. Alright, so uh, before we wrap this up, I want to go to another synchronization point. We'll go right there. It's not too far, 230 meters. And we are in midday now. Our Midjai has returned. Is that who I think it is? Look out, buddy. Oh. Okay, here we are. Action completed. Just getting started. Oh, I got some sort of Ubisoft club points or whatever. I signed up for the Ubisoft club and it does things, apparently. Uh, it'll prompt you to join uh, when you start the game for the second time, not the first time. And we also leveled up. Level 5 now and Leap of Faith down. Alright, ability point. What do we want? And only one point. Ah, uh, well, we got some new stuff here. We've got Overpower Ultra. It's passive. Double the damage of your Overpower ability. We have Adrenaline 1. It's passive. You always start a conflict with a half-filled Adrenaline Gauge. Ooh, that could be really good. Overpower Combo. After an Overpower attack, you can chain with a combo of light attacks. Just beat the crap out of somebody. Uh, overpower experience. Killing enemies with your overpower active gives you experience. Attack and push. Hold R1 after a light attack to perform a push attack combo. Uh, oh, and we still have that. Um, well, Adrenaline 1 seems pretty freaking good. So let's get that. Alright, so we're all done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.